everyone. Welcome to ET Live <laughs> from Comic Con right now. I'm Leanna Aguilera with the one, the only, the cast of Marvels, the Defenders. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. I'm so happy that you're here right now. I am so thrilled for this new show because we have Daredevil, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones all coming together for the very first time. How epic will this union be? So epic. <laughs> <laughs> you took my word. I was going to say epic, but epic, I guess that's, I yeah. Mean. Uh, but what can you tease about this series? It's one of the most highly anticipated Marvel series of all time. Well, no this pressure. Is, I, look, this is a dream that comes true. Uh, what happened was we went to Netflix. We had this uh, incredibly unprecedented idea, which was to do four television series all by themselves, so each of them would have their own stories with remarkable casts and great writing, and then it was all gonna join together, and Marco Ramirez, our showrunner, had to figure out how to put the puzzle together, and he just sort of said, here you go. Oh! <laughs> here, here's the box, there's no map. No, you the pieces, no box. <laughs> Jeff <laughs> making the promises and then being like, go, Marco, go. Go, exactly. go Marco, go. Uh, Marco, we are finally going to be seeing all four of these action heroes in the same room together. What was your goal with this series? I guess the goal was just to make sure that they all won every argument they had with each other. Uh -huh. um, it's, it's really about, kind of, I mean, the, the, the audience loves these characters and nobody wants to feel like they, they came to this and, and their favorite person isn't being served. So really it feels like the big challenge was making it, you know, keeping the, keeping the balance of all four of them really shining as often as they could. And these actors, I think, did a great job. How long do we have to wait before we get the four-part team up? Is it a couple episodes, or We're is it going to be right away? That. It's not I, happening. You know I'm just going to try and get spoilers. The show. <laughs> Some blogger will tell you. <laughs> no, exactly. Um, but who would you say is the most reluctant out of the four to join the team up? Mm. Yeah. Probably. I don't know yeah. though, because I think I feel like with the one of the great things about this show is that you've got four people who've got no interest in being part of a team. And then, so the challenge that, of course, Marco accomplished wonderfully is getting, how do you get those four people into a room, and then how do you get them to stay there? And neither of us really want to be there. But that, but also Jessica Jones. <laughs> <laughs> what he said, but, but me. I feel like Danny's just like, this is awesome. Well, someone has to be that guy, because otherwise we'll never, we'll never get it done. You know, someone right. has to be that guy. We're four loners who all have our own thing going, and we're kind of like, you know, taking attention from that to do something that we didn't even know about. So it's, you know, someone has to be the driving force, and that's what Danny does. And then there's the other side of it, which is that there has to be an antagonist, which forces them all together. And so, on the one hand, incredibly lucky to have Sigourney Weaver, and then on the other hand, the supposedly dead Electra mm -hmm. uh, returns. I was yeah. going to say, Looking what can really we expect alive. from zombie Electra? <laughs> very bloody, very dark Electra this season. Was yeah. that fun for you to be able to have that additional layer to her? Definitely, yeah. It's good to, you know, go back to a character that you like, love, and then just explore different, you know, different aspects of her personality. So yeah, had a lot of fun. Definitely. Uh, and of course, the one and only Colleen is going to be there to help as well. Um, she is quite kick-ass in her own right. How does she uh, get in with the dynamic of the group? Um, I think she's kind of just reeling from everything that happened in Iron Fist. Uh, <laughs> I just see this at um, So she's got to get to terms with that over the course of Defenders. And obviously she's trying to help Danny. I think she's a bit untrusting of this situation. This quartet. Because mm. um, she's always been his right hand, right hand man. So it's kind of like, why yeah. are you abandoning me for these losers? Hey, they're not losers. Get what we're talking to. Uh, we have something to deal with in Defenders hey. too. As Chris Rock would say, ain't talking to me. Uh, wait, Jeff, was that you just officially announcing that we will get a season two of Defenders? Yeah. Jeff Lowe yeah. from Marvel just whoa, whoa, announced whoa, 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 whoa. it. Yeah. Well, no. Marco, I'm talking about a slip. Since Marco's not doing anything, I just sort of thought. What are you doing in 2021? Uh, look, that's up to the fans and up to uh, our friends at Netflix. It's totally happening. Um, <laughs> we have the one and only Sigourney Weaver playing your villain, but she has recently spoken out saying not that she's villain. not so much a villain, but an adversary to the mm -hmm. group. How would you describe her dynamic with she's the defenders? Mike! <laughs> 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 Embrace it, embrace it. <laughs> uh, but but how, how would you say uh, she compares to other Marvel adversaries out there that we've seen in the past? 
Well, well she's Sigourney Weaver. You know, she's like an icon in the genre and for everybody, men and women. Yeah. So having her, she's just got like a fierce grace and a presence. And, you know, you can't really even compare Sigourney Weaver to anybody. Yeah. Uh, recently, the official Marvel's Defenders Facebook page posted a comment talking about Spider Guy. Uh, and a lot of fans out there are wondering if that is a nod that the defenders know of Spider-Man. You know, New York isn't that big of a city. No, I don't. I don't know anything about that. But what's a Spider-Man? Spider. Spider guy. Spider -Man. Spider -Man. Uh, look, I, you're just trying to get us in trouble, so that I'll get stuck with hashtag. It's all connected. Yeah. Uh, but I, look, it, it is. I mean, at the end of the day, they do all live in the same world. Mm -hmm. But as we've said from the very beginning, the Avengers are interested in saving the universe, and and the Defenders, and in individually each of these characters, are are more interested in saving whether it's the neighborhood, and in many cases, this ladies just yeah. herself, just like, a bottle of booze. Like, you know, at yeah. the end of the day, it's and in many ways that can be equally compelling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I remember the uh, front cover of one of the magazines, or sorry, one of the comic books, having Luke Cage uppercut Spider Man. So if you if he's ever in the neighborhood, I'd be happy to punch him. Just, you know, just, just, you know. That's now the lead of the story. Uh, no? Yeah. No. no! That's it. Like, we, everyone did everything, and now it's just Luke Cage going to fight Spider-Man. No, he's just, <laughs> I'm just saying, he was in the neighborhood at some point, right? Uh, so real quick, crazy. speaking of punches. <laughs> we stay out of Queens. Let's just put it that way. Stay out of Queens, okay. Speaking of punches, real quick, uh, we did see in the Epic Defenders trailer that someone's jaw gets a little smushed by a certain iron fist. Oh, I didn't even feel a thing. Oh, really? <laughs> That's not true. The last interview you, we did, you were complaining about how much it hurt every time I kicked. No, that was when he kicked me because because he literally kicks me. He's supposed to pull back. In stunt world, you you pull Dude, back. You. you can handle it. After 40 punches in the same spot, it starts to wear on you. I and love that Sam doesn't pull his kicks. He doesn't pull his kicks. His kicks. This guy does not pull his kicks. Uh, lastly, what is the one thing that you want Marvel fans to know before they tune in to the Defenders in August? Uh, watch it all in one weekend. Yeah? yeah? Are you are you, are you are you proponent of binging? It's eight. Come on, well, it's knock great. that out. It's, it's a great eight. It's yeah. Great eight. Yeah. So, do you recommend they just sit down for the long haul one day? I don't think they're going to get up. I mean, yeah. At the end of the day, once you watch one, you're in. Yeah, they're like your phone off. They're like cookies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you all so much for stopping by <laughs> ET's Comic Con Suite. I really appreciate it. For all you fans out there, make sure you tune into Marvel's The Defenders to see all these amazing people team up, kick butt, and save New York. Thanks so much. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll be coming to you live from Comic Con all weekend. Bye. <laughs> 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 Did you guys elevate?